Hi, this is Dr. Scott Hoar, and today is Treatment Tuesday, and today our special patient is Thomas. Uh, Thomas is a medical assistant and a chiropractic uh, therapy assistant in training, right? That's yes. the technical. Uh, and a new member here at Alcoa Chiropractic Center. Thomas, welcome. Thank you. All right, Thomas, uh, what are we going to treat today? Uh, left shoulder and left hip. So I have sciatic pain on and off, um, really tight hip flexor, so as on the left side especially. Um, and my left shoulder has been chronic for a few years, uh -huh. so uh, from when I was younger, playing when, sports. Playing sports? Mm -hmm. Was there like a big injury in particular? Uh, I can't necessarily pinpoint a specific point of trauma. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had a um, scope done for my labrum uh, about a year ago. Of the left one? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's an arthroscopy, which is a surgery, meaning they kind of put some probes in there to clean up the, the cartilage, that's the labrum, deep in within his left shoulder. So that was the left one, and nothing in the right? Nothing in the right. Correct. Okay, all right. All right, so we'll definitely be treating that and seeing what kind of differences uh, we can make with that. Uh, anything else that you've got going on? Uh, I'm flat-footed, so I have plantar fasciitis okay. off and on, especially standing. For long periods of the day. Okay. It does bother me. All right. So uh, on your kinetosense assessment, we saw that your shoulder abduction was limited really in both shoulders. Believe it or not, the right shoulder was more limited. I think it was about 154 degrees and the left shoulder was at about 161 degrees. Ideally, you want about 180 degrees. So some, some definite limitation with both shoulders. So we're going to treat both shoulders and uh, see if we can get to the feet as well and see what kind of difference it makes. All right. Any preferences or things you really hate about uh, getting adjustments, Thomas? No, no, everything is amazing. Everything's cool. All right. I feel like there's a lot of stiffness kind of on the right side in the thoracic spine, so I'm going to come on over here. Deep breath. Let it all out. All right, I'm going to do some muscle testing down here. Let's hold your leg right here. I'm going to try to straighten your knee. Don't let me do that. It's great. Other side. Yeah, hold it right there. You're going to straighten your knee. And that's, that's not as good, right? Right. All right, I want you to turn on your side, this side up. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Face down. Uh, you're gonna straighten your knee. Great. And this one, straighten the knee. Look at that. Oh, again. Yeah, I think that's better. Can you tell that's better? Mm -hmm. All right. Bring your knee up towards the ceiling. Hold it up like that. I'm gonna push down. I want you to resist that. Really strong. Knee up. Hold it there. Pushing down. And that's not so good. So once you turn on your side, this side up. All right, take a nice deep breath, let it all out. Good, face down. Knee up, pull it right there, push it down. Really good, flip around on your back. Curl forward, kind of chin to chest. All right, keep your chin toward your chest. Okay. And now lay your head back. There we go. So what I like to do is, uh, Thomas, I like to start with the spine and work my way to the extremities. So we're doing all that stuff first. And then we'll get to your shoulders and your feet. Let that go a little bit. Good. And drop your head back. Good. Okay, your arm like so. I'm gonna push that way. Don't let me do that. Really strong. Pushing that way, don't let me. Really strong. Make a fist, I'm gonna push down towards you. Awesome, 
No discomfort, right? Correct. Bend your elbow, bring it in to the rib cage. I'm going to pull your elbow out like that. Resist that. Really good. Hold it right there. I'm going to push down. I want you to resist that. And again, just not as good, right? Correct. Was there pain? Uh, no, discomfort, but no pain. All right, so there's the anterior deltoid. So what I'm going to do is just a little manipulation and kind of put it uh, anterior to posterior with my manipulation. Let that drop. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing down. A little bit better, yeah? Yeah. Bend your elbow, straighten your hand. I'm going to pull towards me. I'm going to push towards you. Really great. Drop your elbow towards the ground, arm behind the lower back. I'm going to pull your elbow up. Don't let me do that. And again, I don't love that one. So we're going to get back to that in a second. Okay? okay. Right there. I'm going to push that way. And that's not as strong, right? You could tell that was a difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. All right. So I'm going to adjust. So that's your pec major muscle. I'm going to adjust where your clavicle and your sternum meet. It's called your SC joint. The table's going to pop up here. Okay. And let it go there. Great. Hold it right there. Pushing that way. A little bit better, not all the way. So I'm going to go a little bit south where the ribs meet up with the sternum. I'm looking for either a stiff, maybe a tender mm -hmm. joint. And right there seems stiff and it's tender. Mm -hmm. Okay. Table's popping up. Let it go there. Great. Hold it right there. Pushing that way. Resist. I think that's stronger. What do you think? Much better. Make a fist. I'm going to push down towards you. And again, that's just a little bit weaker than the right side was. Correct. It's a serratus anterior muscle. It's an important shoulder girdle stabilizer. So what I want you to do, put your left palm on your ear. I'm going to put my thumb in your armpit. I'm going to wrap my hand around your shoulder blade. We're going to adjust the joint in between the shoulder blade and the rib cage. Take a deep breath. Breathe on out. Very good. Make a fist. Pushing on down. Good. I like that. Elbow in at the rib cage. I'm going to pull out. Resist. It's good. Straighten your hand. I'm going to pull towards me. Pushing towards you. That's great. Drop the elbow down to the floor. I'm going to pull forward. <laughs> there we go. And that's that pop there. All right. Again, elbow to the floor. And I'm going to pull forward. And that's still weak to me. So I want you to flip around and go face down. So both of these tested weak. All right. But let's just test it from this perspective. Elbow up towards the, the ceiling. Sorry. Elbow up towards the ceiling. Good. And I'm going to push down. Resist that. And that's weak. So table's going to pop up. And I'm going to manipulate from right here. Good. Elbow up, hold it right there, pushing down. That's definitely stronger, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, and we kind of have a little bit of a fallen, fallen arch sort of thing. Any surgeries or anything on this foot? Uh, no surgeries. I've sprained that one into the, I tore all three ligaments in the ankle. How long ago? Uh, senior year of high school. Okay. All right, so I'm, I'm going to give you a, uh, a whole mess of adjustments with both feet here. All right, like that. Good. 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 Okay. Do a lot of those on this one. Okay. Any of these painful? Um. He says with a long pause. Not, not painful. The left pinky appears to be numb though. Yeah. Like that happen a lot. Just the, that one and the, the one beside it. Okay. All right. Good. So the original CAMS, the Kinetosense Advanced Movement Screen, you scored a 71% out of 100. 100 would be like ideal function of your physical body. 
Uh, your right shoulder had a mobility issue. I mentioned it was a good 30 degrees less than what is ideal. Um, that was probably your biggest dysfunction that we were able to see. Uh, right scapula had a stability issue, meaning the thoracic spine kind of moving a little bit too much. Uh, and on the, in the transverse plane, meaning kind of, kind of front to back-ish. Uh, we probably saw a little bit during the squat of you kind of bending forward with your spinal column, and typically that's what that means. Uh, looks like the right knee had a uh, stability issue, meaning excessive movement in both the left and the right knee. Again, that's probably from the squat and the lunge. But really, that depth right there, a healthy depth for a squat, you're able to stay upright with your spine and have the hips actually be even or lower than the knees. So we weren't able to get much flexion range of motion. The right shoulder abduction and you got to 151 degrees. And that was before. And then right abduction afterwards, 151. And there we were able to get to 165. So that's the difference we made for the right shoulder. For the left shoulder, Left shoulder, again, we want 180 is ideal. And we're at one, I think 61 was your best. Oops. 161 right there is what they're saying is the best. That was before, then left abduction after 161 to 168 or 169. We were able to get eight to 10 degrees out of both shoulders, which is good because that was the biggest dysfunction that you showed. Okay, so that's our treatment. So how did that go for you? Went really well. I feel better range of motion, uh, feet feel a lot better, and uh, just overall more in place. Good, good. So based on the, our findings from the Kineticense assessment and uh, from the, the treatment there, my recommendation would be that you continue to work on the abduction uh, range of motion for both shoulders. That seems to be the biggest limitation for you. Uh, and then probably we'll want to do some foot stability exercises. And then um, we could do a further assessment for a kind of a squat assessment one of these days where we see why aren't you able to drop a little bit lower uh, in your squat pattern. So um, those are the things we'll be looking at, okay? Sounds great. Thank All right. You. Well, hey, thanks for being a good sport and appearing here on this, uh, this camera <laughs> chiropractic treatment. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. This was Treatment Tuesday. I'm Dr. Scott Hoare. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next week.